Next step is to prepare the machine and eventually remove this top cover from the bottom cover. First thing we've got is on the back side of the machine 13 screws, all torques 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. We need to remove all of those and then a couple of additional screws on the other side. Once again, these are all the same length, so we can be safe in just putting them all in a big pile, but on many laptops, one or two of these may be longer than the others because of the components that they have to bolt through to reach the other side. There's drives that are in the way, motherboards, RAM sticks, all kinds of different things that could interfere with keeping the uh, same screws from going in other holes. When you do get quite a cluster of screws like this, a uh, nice thing to use is the component box that you got your uh, got with your toolkit. Keep all the screws from the lid, for example, from the hinges that I didn't put away last time in one. Close it up so they can't get lost. And as you take out these other screws, since there's going to be too many to tape down easily, we can just drop them in one of our parts boxes like that and then they're compartmentalized for later so it makes it a little bit easier to uh, put the machine back together when the time comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The five on the battery side are in deeper sockets. When you unscrew them all the way, they won't be sticking out enough to grab. So we'll just carefully take the machine, tip it upside down, shake lightly, and then immediately put them away so they're not lost. Every now and then one might need an extra turn or two before it'll pop loose. Once we get the back side taken care of with those 13 screws, we turn it back to the front side and here and here are two additional screws that need to be taken out. These go through the motherboard from the other side. So we'll take those out. They're the same as the rear screws, so you can put them all together in the same bin. And once again, they're too deep to grab, so we can loosen them, take them out, drop them right in with the rest. Last step before we can pop the two pieces apart is to get rid of the microphone cable. Microphone cable rides in the same tracks that the wireless cable did when it went up to the LCD panel, so we will just loosen that up pull it out of its little holders and then pop the microphone loose. The wires come in on the back side which will be the underside so later when we put that back together you can just tuck that in under here for now to get it out of the way. Close up our container of screws there and now the hardest part of the whole thing is taking this panel off. All the screws that we took out you think it would be fairly loose but all the way along every edge are pretty hard snapped uh, plastic clips so it can be a little difficult to get this apart you want to be careful with it a lot of times you'll be pulling on it or prying and all of a sudden one of those snaps will come loose and if you're pulling too hard it'll actually bend or snap this plastic best place to start is at the rear corners you can see where it separates between the two screws where the hinge used to be right there sometimes just a little pry and can see that's going to bend it's not really doing anything take a look at the back where the battery is there's a clip here here and here sometimes you can get a screwdriver in near one of those there's a little notch that allows you to uh, pry just a little bit you want to be careful that you don't pry too much it will snap out a chunk of plastic or make divots and dents in the plastic and 
professional repair place, you don't want to send your laptop and have it come back with all kinds of chew marks on it. So I've gotten the first clip loose and you can see how it's starting to come apart there. We can just take a screwdriver and run it along here, gently prying until we can get the next clip loose. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to pull it up from along the side, get our fingernails underneath here, and you can hear the clips as they pop. And we can get all the way up to the front. The manual says to pop all these first and then lift it up like this. Um, I find that these clips are pretty tough, so that helps, but sometimes these back ones are almost as tough to get past. Just be careful. Work slowly. There's no rush on it. Sometimes working back to the other corner may get you a little more space. One clip left here. These three along the battery are the tightest for the whole thing. There we go. Alright, now once the back pops loose, you can see the whole thing does actually just lift up, just like in the picture. Just continue to pop the clips along the side here, and eventually it'll be just the ones on the front, and we can. our way along the edge and pop those loops. One thing I forgot, wasn't following the instructions right, is these two pieces here, the track pad and touch buttons here, we need to remove those from the motherboard before we lift this up because as you can see doesn't want to go anywhere. We don't want to put extra stress on those. All right. So now we have that taken off. You can see the connectors, bottom of the track pad, all the clips along the edges here, as well as all the posts where all those screws went through from the front and back. Set that piece aside.